Hey guys, it's Brittany with Hitch to Hitch. I just got through going through all my clothes. I try to do that maybe once or twice a year. I've only been living in the camper for about a year and a half, so it's not like I've been doing this for forever. But I do try to regularly go through my clothes. I just went shopping. I needed some more shorts. Um, and a couple of other things, you know, sometimes you just get tired of wearing the same things over and over again. Well, I was kind of at that point, so kind of doing some cleaning house and putting away my new clothes. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I organize my stuff and where I keep it and how much I have. So if you're new to RVing or new to full-time living, I thought this might be helpful. I know it was something that I really stressed about when we first sold our house and moved into a camper. Where am I going to put all of my stuff? What stuff do I bring? What type of clothes do I bring? Am I going to need these shoes or not? And so now that I've been doing this for about a year and a half, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of what I need and where it goes. Uh, I probably could downsize some more. I'm holding on to probably a little bit more than I need to, but it all fits. So, <laughs> so let's, uh, Head on over to the closet. Um, I do have more places, but we're gonna start there. We are in the Fusion 424 fifth wheel toy hauler. And this is the master bedroom. So we have this closet. This side is Cody's and that side is mine. And we're gonna take a look at what we have going on in there. Okay, so I open the doors and here is a little pan of what we have going on in there. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more in detail in just a second. Okay, so let's go through what I have in here. One of the first purchases that we made in our big Amazon order at the very beginning was these hanging closet organizers. They've been working for a year and a half. They, they work great. And so here's how I have it organized. In this top one, I have seven what I call um, tops. They're not t-shirts like this. This is a t-shirt. These are like the v-neck and the scoop neck kind of shirts. I have seven of those. Underneath them, I have about five three-quarter length long sleeve, soft, comfortable kind of shirts as well. Down here, I've got seven t-shirts, and I separate them. I'm a little, a little organized. And below that, I have seven tank top shirts. And finally, on the bottom, I have seven pairs of shorts. So that's what I keep in the hanging basket here. Right here on the floor, and you can't see the bottom, but right there on the floor of it, this is my makeup bag. I am not a big makeup person. Um, I do not wear it every day. I only wear makeup really when we're going on maybe out to dinner or going, I don't know, something like that. So I keep all my makeup in here. And that may, that may be different for other people who, who wear it more and have a lot more. But I can fit everything in there. Foundation, mascara, eyeshadow, blush, lipstick, eyeliner. Yeah, that's it. So I keep it right here. And I like to keep it in here as opposed to the bathroom because with Cody and I both getting ready at the same time, I always shower first and I come in here and get ready. I have these great mirrors. I sit on the bed, put my makeup on while he can shower and we can be ready about the same time. Hanging up right there next to my organizer is my jewelry organizer. Love this thing. It keeps it all where it needs to be. Hanging right there in my closet. All right, and then what I have on my hangers, and I have it organized by season. I have about seven summertime, okay, not seven, I've got about 10, summertime nice blouses. And those are the kind of things that I'll wear if we're at a new place and we're gonna go out to dinner or go visit a museum, something like that. I'll try to dress up a little bit more as opposed to a hiking day or hanging around the camper kind of day. I'm gonna wear those. And then I've got about seven to 10 winter blouses. And then after that, I've got seven to 10, one, two, three, four, four, seven to 10 summer dresses. And then I've got 
only three winter dresses. Um, why do I have so many dresses? I love getting dressed up. Yes, I do wear them when we are going out to dinner. So if we're at a new place and we want to go explore some local food, I like to get dressed up. So I will still wear a dress. And a few of those summer dresses are little ones that I can wear to a museum. They're not fancy fancy. They're more like a t-shirt dress, you know, just a plain t-shirt dress that I can slip on if it's hot. That helps me stay cool. Um, so yes, I do wear them all and keeping about seven to 10 helps me in that I don't feel like I'm wearing the same one over and over again. So if we go out to eat, you know, twice in a new place, I won't keep repeating the same dress. Underneath our closet, we do have one drawer, and I saw, I'm saw i sure you saw in the pan, I don't need to keep opening it, that's where my bras, underwear, and socks live. Okay, now let's talk shoes. I have a little cubby hole next to the bed where I've got a couple of pairs of shoes. And here are the shoes that I have with me. In that cubby hole, I have two pairs of wedges to go with the dresses and things like that for going out to dinner. I've got one pair of boots and I have one pair of sandals. I couldn't remember the brand, it's my Tevas. So I have my Tevas and those all go in there because they're not the shoes that I wear um, every day, although it is summertime, so I'm probably going to be breaking out my Tevas and I'm going to show you where I'll put those. So kind of in that cubby are my shoes that I don't wear every day. So my boots, my two pairs of wedges, and my Tevas, which I will be bringing out. In addition to that storage, I have two other places that I keep shoes. Um, one is the shoe bucket that we have out on the porch. That's what we keep out there. And that's where I keep my tennis shoes. I've got, let's see, I've got to get rid of some because they don't fit anymore. Uh, two pairs of running shoes. Um, I use one for walking and running, for hiking, and one is solely for running. So my two pairs of running shoes stay out on the porch in a shoe bucket. The only other place that I keep shoes is right here on the side of the bed. We've got one of these little hanging things. And I have one other pair of flip-flops. I have my little slip-on sneakers. And I have my slippers that I just wear around the camper. So that's that's my shoes. Um, oh, I do have another pair of flip-flops that I keep outside in the shoe bucket that I slip right on. Well, I guess I stay on the porch, not in the bucket. So kind of to recap the shoes and what I have and what I feel. I don't feel like I need any more are boots. Um, those boots are like winter boots, um, kind of furry on the inside that you can walk around in, those kind of boots. Two pairs of wedges, Tiva sandals that I can walk around in, hike in. I've got my little slip-on sneakers that I can wear out to a museum. I've got two other pairs of flip-flops that I can wear around with my shorts kind of anywhere I go and my two pairs of running walking shoes, my sneakers. Yeah, and I use all of those regularly. I don't feel like I need really any more. It kind of covers my bases. And let's move on to the next area. In the bathroom, we have this cabinet right here. Right below it is the hamper. So I'm gonna open up the cabinet and I'm gonna show you the last place that I keep my clothes. Okay, so on the top shelf is all of our towels, washcloths. On the second shelf, this is where I keep my running clothes. So I've got two stacks, my summer and my winter, and there's my running gloves right next to it. And on the last shelf, I keep my pajamas and my bathing suits. So as far as pajamas, I've got three sets of the long flannel bottoms. I've got about five pairs of like boxer shorts. I've got three or four sleeping t-shirts. And then I've got three kind of nighty cottony, not like anything, you know, ridiculous. I still have the kids in the camper. Um, but three like nightgown nighties. Um, next to it by my bathing suits, I've got three complete bathing suit sets. 
and you see two two or three cover-ups for running I've got lots of running clothes probably seven pairs of running shorts and seven tops in the back I've got five pairs of capris and long pants for running and five mm, long sleeve and short sleeve running shirts okay I don't know if I said that the bathroom was my last place for clothes because that is not true <laughs> um, we put up a little hanging knob I don't know coat hanger deal by the door that goes from the bedroom to the bathroom and that is where we are currently hanging our winter jackets sometimes we have them put away in a vacuum seal bag but we are going to be heading up north here soon so we have them out I have I don't know let's see all right we're gonna check what I have I have one two three three jackets and Cody has one two those are kind of lightweight not ridiculously heavy our very heavy winter in the event of going somewhere where there's like snow those are in vacuum seal bags right now up in the loft so three and you can see all of mine are pink no that's that's not true i do have one brown one um this is a robe i have a robe um but mine are the pink and his are the black okay next place because there's still more is underneath the bed all right here is a view of underneath our bed um, in the back are suitcases in case we need them and then you will notice those two gray organizers one is for me and one is for Cody and then the pillow that came with the camper underneath that is I think some extra linens and maybe a duffel bag or two okay in my organizer case down here what i have i think it is one two three four five sections in the first section are hat glove scarves second section is winter running more winter running um third section is jeans fourth section is long pants that are not jeans and fifth section is long sleeve shirts so the winter stuff is kind of put away but very easily accessible because I've noticed that if I go ahead and put it away in vacuum seal bags and put it up in the loft we go somewhere that I need it so it's just easier for me to have one season in the closet and one season down here so if when we go up north if it stays cold I'll go ahead and switch it and I'll put all my shorts and my tank tops and my running shorts and, and those tank tops in here and swap it out to where I have my running clothes easily accessible and my winter my winter running clothes easily accessible and my winter regular clothes and jeans in my closet that's a little bit easier to access so that is finally it for the clothes I keep things in my closet in the bathroom closet and underneath the bed um, and I'll show you what's going on in the bathroom. All right, here we are in the bathroom. A look at the sink. I do want to get a little organizer caddy um, for that kind of stuff, but that's just my face wash, my face lotions and creams and toothpaste. When we're traveling, it just gets thrown into the sink right there, and then it comes right back out because I use that every day. Up in the cabinet, this is my side with my stuff, and in here is all my curly hair product, deodorant, Maybe some face scrubs that I don't use every day, extra toothpaste, hairbrush, and hair clips. And underneath the basin is the rest of my stuff. I do have a uh, bucket. It's got more hair stuff because my hair needs lots of product. And it's got my nail kit in there my fingernail clippers and all that kind of stuff that little bag with the green that is all my extra clips and ponytail rings um, below is our happy camper of course 
and a shower caddy for if we need to shower in campgrounds and extra shampoo and conditioner and that is it oh another thing that I am very excited about I just ordered this for myself for Mother's Day is an electronic shaver because having to shut off the water every time I want to shave and all of that this just makes it a little bit easier to handle that okay so that's a look at what I have and where it all goes it's maybe very different for me for you you may have a completely different setup or a smaller camper or need less stuff or need more stuff but I just figured it might be a little bit helpful for someone starting from the very beginning having no clue where to go and what you need um, but just remember it is a learning process and everyone is different and you will figure it out and you don't need probably as much as you think like I said in the beginning I could downsize more and I probably will um maybe all right see you next time